to see. I I think FIFA's name is big, but I think EA Sports FC was able to work with them long enough to where they they are at least understand that oh no, this is the game I liked. But I don't know. We'll have to. Big news. This caused quite a tizzle, and I commented on my Twitter about this. Redfall will be launching with no 60 frames per second mode and will be released. Oh, sorry. And the and that mode uh, and will be released at a later date, meaning the 60 frames per second mode will be released at a, a later date. This is the official Twitter. Redfall is launching on Xbox console with quality mode only. Xbox Series X 4K at 30 frames per second. Xbox Series S 1440p 30 frames per second. 60 frames per second performance mode will be added via game update at a later date. Wow. Wow. This caused quite a stir, I must say. Where do I begin? So it's easy for me to sit here and tell you why this is unwise, especially from them, right? Especially from Redfall, especially from Bethesda, right? They're already kind of on the back foot with... It's been a while since they released, like, a really compelling single-player game. Yeah, I mean, of course, we can bring up Deathloop. But gamers usually have a short uh, memory span. So let's just say that it's been a while since they've really really thrown a banger out right and this redfall thing was always i feel like the air around redfall was always of speculation of not being sure if this is going to be a great game the debut trailer is one of my favorite debut trailers i've ever seen it is incredibly cool looking debut trailers are cinematics made in the cg or sorry are like cgi cinematics that are made made to make you excited that are not incredibly representative of the game you are playing 98 percent of the time so i feel like at least from my point of view there's always kind of been an air of we don't know if this is good yet and even the things we see of the game we're still like it looks good but there's still something kind of nagging in your head like is this good I don't know. Maybe it is good, but not great. Maybe it's great, but it's not amazing. Like, you're not really sure. Um, we're all certain on one thing. It doesn't look incredibly fantastic via the like graphics and the visuals and all these things. But when hearing this news that Redfall is launching in 60 frames, of course, everyone had incredibly negative things to say. I'm right there with you. This is hilariously inexcusable for 2023. Uh, especially given that Xbox completely centered their console around being the most powerful thing ever made, blah, blah, blah. Look at our big giant machine. It's very impressive. And we're here sitting, we're sitting here in 2023 and the first game they have to show for themselves really since the series X has been out, right? We've had Forza, but we haven't really had a concrete smack in your face console exclusive similar to something like last of us part uh one or two god of war ragnarok demon souls these are just a couple things off the top of my head we don't really have that this is kind of the first thing that we're getting now maybe that's unfair pressure put onto redfall but that's not really our problem we had a halo infinite that was a massive failure in many parts uh most of the campaign was kind of a joke if you're looking for a story and a cohesive uh narrative in, in a lot of ways and then we have you know, the multiplayer, which was good, but it, it was you know it didn't get updates because it wasn't ready. And now we have Redfall, and all eyes are looking at Bethesda. Now is that fair? Because Bethesda was purchased, and they still haven't made a game that was in development as they were purchased. Like you know, so. This is still a Bethesda game, not really an Xbox game, but we're kind of claiming ownership, I believe. Uh, and you come out and you say, hey, we're 30 frames. Um, we're a first person shooter. I feel like that's important factor here as an FPS being third for uh, first uh, first person is, in, in my opinion, much more jarring than a 30 frames third person mode as someone who played Plague's Tale and Gotham Knights back to back. Both third-person games. Gotham Knights, of course, I feel it much worse because especially since I play as Nightwing. Jesus Christ. Like, it felt terrible. Not defending it, of course. 
But seeing this come out as a first person game co op, and we're saying, hey, we can't run at 60 frames at launch. We don't know how to do it. it it's quite, quite surprising. Now, I want to play Devil's Advocate as I haven't seen really anyone theorize on why, right? Assumably, again, assumably, you know what we do when we assume, but I feel like I have to here because I'm trying to analyze this situation. Bethesda could delay this. I mean, they really probably could do pretty much whatever they want, right? And let's say they need this update and this comes out in two months later. You know, you couldn't delay it in two months. And I feel like we come to the, the conclusion of why they won't delay it. I feel like there's a couple reasons. One, it's theorized that Starfield is probably coming out in September maybe October, if we delay the May date of Redfall, right? Let me double check, make sure that's the correct day. I believe it was May 5th. Redfall release date is May 2nd. May 2nd. Now, if we push that two months, right? You're in July. I find that hard to believe why they wouldn't just do that and get the 60 frames out. Do some more polish. Really make sure this game is tight. Or at least it maybe it's too close to Starfield. Maybe they used up all the clout that they had. Clout's a wrong word. I apologize for using that. Maybe they used all their favors. Maybe they can't. Maybe Arcane literally just can't justify delaying it again. Maybe they don't want the backlash. We understand that the Xbox community has been hungry for quite a while as someone a part of that community that i can uh, agree to being quite jealous of the playstation community as they are getting some of the genre defining game defining legacy defined games over there right and we're over here with halo infinite barely working at launch uh halo infinite needing two years to pretty much finish the game because they need to add forge and co-op campaign and all these things. It took them over a year to do that. So we're getting unfinished products at launch. And we're about to get Redfall. Which still could argue, you could argue is still unfinished. Because we're not getting the 60 frames. Which is inherently assumed by this point. Now let's bring up the issue of maybe they do not care about 60 frames. Now we heard Todd Howard say just that on a interview with Lex Friedman on the Lex Friedman podcast. He said he is fine with 30 frames per second. He doesn't really see the need for it in his games. I don't understand this gentleman's idea. I imagine he said that kind of forced because he can't say he wants to, he can't say the other thing and then get like destroyed because he can't release the games on there, right? So I feel like he was almost like caught in a hard spot like, "Oh, you know, 30 frames are fine for right? right? maybe maybe he was stuck in a corner but regardless he said that so maybe they really are fine with 30 frames which which brings up two problems one we do understand that 30 frames or sorry 60 frame modes aren't incredibly popular when games are launched and there's no evidence suggesting that frames the lack of frames affects how you perform via sales if someone has that evidence please show it to me as i would love to educate myself i highly doubt it's out there uh because we probably would have seen it by now or someone would have talked about it i feel like there really isn't a motivation to make sure this is in your game why because we have two things that come up here one if you're hardcore enough to care about frames that much are you on a console this is kind of new in our, our ecosystem, right? The constant ecosystem, this need for more frames, right? It's kind of a whiplash effect, I feel like, to devs, right? We've been fine with 30 frames, really, since 2020. I mean, this really, 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 really sit here and think about that. We've kind of not been used to 60 frames since 2020. But since that happened, that's kind of what we all want now. We all want a high fidelity experience. Now, 
Why did I say we all won? I even fell in the trap that I feel like a lot of people on Twitter, let's remind ourselves, Twitter, not real place, right? <laughs> not, not real. So we can't really judge what we see there on the outer environment of our world. But for an example, a bunch of people pretty much unanimously, even if you were a major fan and you're kind of those weird people that really like Xbox, like kind of the weirdos, that are like are way too serious about this thing. We're even dogging on this. But how many people are really basing their purchasing decision on the fact that is there a 60 frame per second option on my console? And how many of those people don't have a PC so they just go to the PC and buy it there? Maybe that's the stats that Xbox is working on. Maybe Xbox sees these things or there's just maybe an understanding in the gaming um, dev community space that frames doesn't really sell games, right? Maybe frames isn't that big a deal yet. Maybe we're at the precipice of it being a big deal. Again, we have no firm data that suggests you lose sales given not launching with a performance mode. Nothing. It's not out there. I haven't seen it. I imagine if you're listening to this, you haven't seen it. And if you have, again, let me know. All of this being said, I want to I want everyone to really think about this. Did your purchase be defined by this news? Gotham Knights sold incredibly well, especially given how it launched. It kind of didn't work. It was slow. It didn't load really great. A lot of the um, uh, uh, how can I say this? Like, performance of the game was incredibly bad. In the aspects of the game actually working, uh, yet it charted for months. That's a big deal. Of course, it has the name Gotham in it, but. I don't know. I find it incredibly strange that they would come out here and say that. And I find it strange that it's not going to be in there as it should be kind of assumed we want that. But yet. I'm still buying this game. Maybe I'm part of the problem. But. To me. I feel like there isn't enough data to sway someone. There's just probably not enough data out there. To suggest we need a 60 frames per second mode or we won't sell or it translates to missed dollars. I don't know. I don't know. This is, of course, all speculation and analysis on my part. But I want everyone really at home to think about that, right? Frames might not sell games. And that's why they probably don't care about it. Bethesda, famous for their games being incredibly janky years after they're made. Why would this be any different, I guess? And I, I got into it. I got into it. I, I got into an interesting conversation with someone, with one of my friends uh, over at Podcast PXN. Uh, Dan over there, uh, I tweeted out, the worst news about this is Starfield is going to be 30 frames. Uh, and he very much was like, oh, I'll take that bet. Guaranteed a 60 at launch. Or guaranteed 60. And I specified like, yeah, I, I want to be sh clear about this. I do not think it will be at launch. And I really don't think Bethesda cares about this. Because again, it's almost like we've all done a 180 on them. We've only really cared about this in the last three years. The console space. The PC space is completely different. I have, of course, not talking about them. They've cared about frames. I mean, geez. 2009 or something like that? When did Counter-Strike come out? I remember that was a big deal, right? I don't remember when, like, the first big... Whenever, like, it became competitive. Oh, I, I, wasn't it a big deal in Quake 2? Like, and there's so many different examples you can think of. 
that frames were very important in especially in the early stage of of like the environment of PC gaming tournaments and all these things. But in the console space it just never was a big deal. And now we're over here like where's my 60 frames? Where is it? You've had 3 years. The years might not be enough time. Who knows? Again, as an Xbox person, I look over at PlayStation, I see God of War Ragnarok, 60 frames per second, cracked out modes. I see Horizon, 60 frames uh, per second, cracked out, looks amazing. And I have Halo Infinite. I have Forza Horizon, great game. But not the same thing. They have Last of Us Part 1 remastered, beautiful, 60 frames per second. And I'm over here. On the third party game playing Resident Evil 4, Persona 4 Golden, a game that was on PS2. <laughs> Food for thought. Let me know what you thought of these Arbians. I'm going to be clipping this out uh, separately, as I know people will like clips, they like shorter content sometimes. So this is going to be going out there. Let me know your thoughts on what I said. And thank you for listening. Now, we're not ending the show quite yet. We have a couple things to cover before I let you go. This is going to be a tweet. This is going to be a tweet live moments ago. 